Hello and welcome to Studio Cloud's video tutorial on how to track prospective clients or leads. Uh, we do recommend that if you see anything in the program that's different um, than what is in your program uh, during this video tutorial that you refer to the written tutorials. We uh, keep the written tutorials up to date with each new release but the video tutorials do take a little bit longer to update. So to start off with, uh, the way you track uh, prospective clients or leads in Studio Cloud is by using projects, specifically using client projects. So the most basic way you do it is you click on here, um, this being a, we're in the prospective client list, and we're going to create, create a uh, project for a prospective client called John Doe. And uh, we now have it right here, prospective client John Doe. We have um, filtered, so we're only showing client projects in this example. And we would just come in here and select what type of prospective client it is. Um, these are all customizable, so you would have your own setup here. And most likely, you would have a different, uh, you'd have a bunch of these depending upon uh, your processes, whether you do something different for walk in um, clients versus over the phone uh, versus email clients, stuff like that. Um, so, there are a few different ways in Studio Cloud to create projects, uh, and you should uh, review our how to create projects as well as our task templates and uh, video, sorry, our task templates and pipeline tutorials. Otherwise, a lot of this will probably be a little bit confusing. Uh, from this window, uh, you can create task templates to populate the projects. Uh, that's always an option. There's also the option of um, setting up a uh, pipeline to start with. Uh, and uh, you can do it from clicking that button right there, the Create Project for a Client. Another option is to actually edit the prospective client. And in this situation, you would just go down to the uh, create options and create project with client from this one. Then you also have the option um, up here you could uh, select the clients and then you could say uh, create project for selected clients. That's an option. The other option you have is under settings you can manage tags and if you have uh, correctly tagged your uh, perhaps you imported a uh, Excel file into Studio Cloud a CSV list and you have a list of clients um, that you're working with, you could come in here and uh, view those clients and select the ones you desired and create projects based upon who is included in that tag and so you can follow up with them. It's really good if you're doing uh, follow-ups for like a direct phone calls to call everybody on, in, in a specific tag. Um, it's, it's very useful. So the way the actual process works is um, you come to the project section You'd come in here and uh, you'd either view your client projects or you come to the filter options and you'd filter by pipeline. So I want to see all the uh, prospective wedding clients in this example or the uh, prospective portrait clients or you would uh, view all of them, wh whatever your preference is. And then uh, you'd be uh, going through the list and uh, selecting the different things to do. Um, what you'd also probably do is before you uh, well, let's go back and actually walk. So in this example, we have email, thank you, and price list. Thank you, email, thank you, and pricing. So for this exact, this one right here, you have two options to have that sped up. Option number one is that you can come into the uh, manage pipelines, and for the, you can add here a option to have when that um, pipeline is selected, you can have it email the client, and what it will do is right here would be a list of a email template that you want to use and it would pop open your email window over the top of, of everything when you select it with that email pre-populated so you could review it and click send it and do the same thing for text message. So that's an easy way to uh, make sure your emails get sent so you can just all you would do um, is select that stage, it pop open that email and then you click send and send it. Another option you can do is when you're creating the project you can select the pipeline Let's go with the same one we're looking at. And then you can select the button down here to send email to client. And when you click the save button, it will pop open an email and you can select, select the desired template. This is useful if you have some a client walk in and you want to make sure that you have an email sent out to them or you have a client on the phone and you want to send a thank you on a pricing list or uh, examples or, or stuff like that. You can do it straight from Studio Cloud. So we've, uh, you can also do it from a uh, calendar appointment. So if somebody's calling up over the phone, scheduling, you can create a project from there and uh, you can track, use it to track um, them. 
um, you need to create a pipeline. We don't, in this ex particular example, we don't have a, a pipeline created, um, but you would have a pipeline essentially to say a consultation follow-up would be most likely what it would be. And that um, covers how to track prospective clients. Oh, there's one more thing we need to do. So um, as you're working with that client, you'd come in here and uh, you would uh, see the status of the pipeline right here. And you're saying, okay, um, I need to call the client. So what you'd probably want to do is you would edit that client. And then you, in this section right here, you would add in uh, notes. So this has the date, time, and the user that is doing this. And uh, called client. Um, client didn't answer. You could do just a log journal. Uh, called client. Client. Um, asked to be called next week and then um, you could either refer to the project section and change the status of the, of the deadline of that project or you could uh, make changes here or you could go ahead and close this window and edit the project from here to keep track of the status of that project and so by doing this way the uh, other advantages you can do is you can have um, different pipelines assigned to different employees. So if you have an employee you want to uh, do all the phone calls, um, call a client to, to book appointment and you had a specific employee that you want to do that, you could have uh, that pipeline stage assigned. So let's assume Jane Park is the one that does that. We'll go ahead and go into here. We'll edit the prospective client, edit the client call list, and we're going to say auto assign. Jane is responsible for this stage of the pipeline. And so whenever you selected that um, stage it would uh, automatically assign Jane Park to be responsible for it and then you could come in here and, and Jane at the very start of the day could come in here and filter um, and see exactly all the things that she's assigned to do and then she can uh, go in and complete that step mark it as completed over here if, if the entire project is completed or uh, assign it to a uh, another um, employee and you can have you can have big long lists where you have one person assigned to this, and then you can have another person assigned, and uh, so it can be really quite powerful and useful. So that uh, it covers how to track prospective clients from Studio Cloud.